Hi crafters! So um, I made this step card using a Sizzix die. I've seen so many step cards. I've seen a lot of tutorials on how to cut and score and all of that and I just never wanted to put that much effort into cutting and scoring and figuring out the template for myself. So when I happened upon the um, Sizzix basic step, let's see, what's it called? Uh, so you do, 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 do. I think it's the basic step card for, yeah, basic card for step ups. Okay, yeah, I can't talk. And yes, I still have that cough from three weeks ago. So um, this set is awesome. It's $19.99 and totally worth it. It has 21 dies in it and it gives you everything. So everything that I have, let me lay it flat, cut all of the shapes are in here for flowers and, e and even other other shapes. So let me show you what all comes in it. And then I'll kind of, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. It is a little bit time consuming uh, when you're first learning how to do it, but it's super easy. Let me get all the dies out of here. This is what it'll look like when it comes. All the dies are, you know, hooked together. And so it tells you all the dimensions and everything. So that's everything that you get. So, the basic part, and the, the part that I did never want to have to figure out where to cut and score it on my own, is this large piece right here. This is the base, and it's going to cut your steps and everything. Um, so, as you can see, this one, it's like that when it's done. And you can, once it, here, uh, I don't want to use that one, once it's cut out, you can decide if you want, because it has all the score lines and everything, if you want the steps to be on the right side or the left side. You would just fold it the other direction against the um, score lines. So one thing I do want to show you is I do not have the big extended platform. I have one on order now. Um, because this will take up every inch <laughs> almost of your platform for your Sizzix um, die. So this paper is cut at it, it eight and a half long way. So all you have to do is take eight and a half by 11 and cut it. I wanted a little extra. So I think this is like eight and a half by five and three quarters or six. So I line it up. And since it's, since it's so exact and it's right on the edges of what you need, I just use a little bit of post-it tape to hold it where it needs to be so that when I send it through the cutter, everything, I mean, because I need to get the ends all the way. So it, it does work with your, this one happens to be the magnetic platform, but it'll work with any of your platforms that you have. I just think it might be a little easier, so I've ordered the extended platform that's you know a little longer so instead of you waiting for me to cut it out here's one I just cut out and so it has all of the score lines and all you have to do is fold it along the score lines and use your bone folder and then make your steps and those score lines are really easy you know sometimes some of the dies with the score lines are hard to see but I mean can't get any easier than that. So there you have it. So what are all the pieces that come with it? I worked on mine laying flat. I thought it was a little easier when it was laying flat. But you get the panels, the dies for both directions. So you can do the front and the back. So you have those. And then you have dies for the different steps. You have a fat one, a skinny one. So you have a number of dies for those. When I made this card the other day, um, I just went ahead and ca I keep standing up and down to see if the camera's where it's supposed to be. Um, <coughs> I'll just show you, show you some of the extra pieces that I that I got from the dies. As you can see, I, I punched out a bunch of flowers, but you just punch out whatever papers you want and you adhere them to the steps. So simple. This is the easiest way to make a step card that I have found. And so it gives you all, like I say, all of the pieces for you to be able to do the steps. You can see how I have mine. 
I just used some coordinating paper. I love the colors of this paper. It is from Glitz and it is Love You Madly. The colors in here are awesome with this paper. I've also got, oh, love that. Love these colors, the grays and the pinks and the peach colors. So that's what I used for all of the embellishments. Um, so we have lots of different um, flower dyes. So you can layer them a number of ways. Um, like I say, there's 21 dyes in here and so worth it. Get a ton. And then you get like the little curly cues. Got that. Here's one I did not use on this one, a, a long skinny one. Got them for both directions, more flowers. You got leaves, oh, there's flowers under there. So you can cut the leaves out. So tons, tons, tons. So I just wanna hold this up close to tell you a few little things of what I did with the flowers. So I cut um, toothpicks a little bit and I've got the flowers I used, um, why can't I think, of the uh, glossy accents because it just holds so well. So I glued um, the leaves and stuff to the toothpick using glossy accents. Now you need to let it dry before you mess with it. I also thought this was fun. Um, I just did some drawings on the leaf so it's not just that plain color. I did some dots and leaf veins and that kind of thing. And then just used some enamel dots. Did a little bit of layering. Um, just hand cut, not hand cut, but I just cut that. That's not a die for the sentiment where I put that. And um, then the stamp sets. Um, this is just drawing. I used a gray marker. Basically, I tried to imitate what they did on the front of the package because I wanted to show you all the things that come in the package. So I pretty much tried to mimic that with just a couple of little changes to it. Um, the stamp sets, this is a fabulous stamp set. It's by Tailored Expressions and it's called Many Minis. And for those of you who use a lot of the Stampin' Up! punches, these are great size of sentiments to work that will fit in the majority of the punches that you have. So I used this uh, Tailored Expressions stamp set for the sentiment. <clears throat> And Newton's Nook is a relatively new manufacturer that we're carrying, and I love their stamps. I've done a couple of videos on them already, I think. Um, so this is Newton Nook, Newton's Nook, and I used the flowers from this one to do the flowers here on this piece. So I used markers in order to do the two colors. I colored on um, the stamp with markers and then stamped it so I could get the two colors. And then I just hand did like the little gray stitching look and that kind of thing. So super, super easy if you want to now be able to make the step cards that are so popular and you don't want to take the time to hand score and cut to get the right measurements. This is definitely the way to go. We do have the um, dies in stock at stampinmania.com. And I believe they're $19.99. Like I say, so worth it. The great thing about this step card is, too, you don't have to use the flowers that come with it. I could use anything. I mean, I've got, um, I'm going to make a little boy card um, later this evening, and I'll put it up on the blog. But you can stand anything up. If you have a stamp set or dies or whatever for little cars or airplanes or I have one for a barbecue grill. I mean, anything. You can put anything on these steps. So the great thing about this particular template is that it will get you the basic design, and then you can use whatever you want, obviously, to to make steps. So I'm going to do several of these um, just because they're so fun. I'm kind of addicted to them right now. So thanks for stopping by. If you have any questions, you can um, ask me down in the comments below the YouTube posting or on the blog post. Excuse me. Doc says I've probably got another couple of weeks of coughing. Um, so forgive me for that. But anyway, happy crafting. Thanks for stopping by. And I hope you guys will try out the step up cards. They're so fun. And recipients who get them in the mail will absolutely love them. Have a crafty day. Talk to you guys later. Bye.